Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the 3D Dome Light node. And it's a new node in DaVinci Resolve Fusion 20. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And we've got a camera, a Merge 3D, and a Render 3D node already set up. So let's go ahead and bring in a shape. So we have something to actually look at. And uh, let's go ahead and transform our shape back. So we can see what we're doing here. And let's create a sphere. We'll up to subdivisions and let's transform it back a little bit. And so the new node within uh, our 3D ecosystem of regular, just normal 3D stuff, we can bring in a dome light now. So if I select dome light, you notice we have two, we had the U dome light that we already covered. And then we've got this new node in DaVinci Resolve Fusion 20, the dome light. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And we're gonna input it into our merge. And the dome light has a scene input and it's got a texture input. And this texture input supposedly is supposed to be an HDR image or an EXR image, but I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot bring in an HDR or a radiance file. It's going to have to be an EXR. So let's go ahead and drag an EXR in. And uh, we'll just use the one uh, we created the other day in one of our tutorials of the living room. And we're going to input that into our dome light. And you can see we've got some colors there. And if we go to our shape and we change our material, we can go to our specular and up our exponent and we can start seeing those reflections and it's pretty dark for some reason our exrs we bring in are extremely dark but we can bring in a brightness contrast node input it and we can lift our gamma quite a bit to get some of that info back in we can give it a little more contrast and that's good so if we go to our render, now you can see we've got our dome light. And if we go to our dome light node, up top we have whether it's enabled or not. We can also change the color. And as you notice, this node is pretty slow. But we can change the color. And give it a second. And it's back. We can change the red, the green, the blue independently. We can change the intensity. There we go. <laughs> like I said, this note is pretty slow. I'm not sure why, but it's uh, fairly slow. But we also have output layers. We have two modes. We have whether it's ambient only or whether it's diffuse in specular output. And under our transforms, we can transform it on the X, the Y, and the Z. And we can rotate it on the X, the Y, and the Z. So if we need to spin our HDRI around, we can uh, simply go on the Y, and turn it, wait for a second, and it turns. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reset that. But one thing that's different is on the dome light, there is no option to enable it to be seen. Additionally, they added nothing new on the, uh, the 3D render node. Well, we've got this new deep image data, but nothing for this dome light. So like on the uh, U render node, we can't just check it to see that sky. We have no way of seeing this. So you have two options to show that dome light or to see the image that you're using for your dome light in the background. So we'll cover those two options. Your one option is to add it in your existing 3D scene. So we could take uh, another shape. Let's go ahead and paste this. We're going to put it here. And basically what we're doing is we're going to make a giant sphere around our entire scene. So I'm going to go to our radius and I'm going to make this 100. And I'm going to go to our material and uh, zero everything out and leave it on white and in our material node we can bring that uh, exr in to have as a material 
So we're gonna grab this brightness contrast out from our EXR and plug it into our material. And we're gonna to go to our shape. Under our lighting, we're gonna uncheck affected by lights. So now we just have that image. And you can see it's gigantic, but we can go to our shape. We can uh, transform it on the Y so we can spin it around. And if you notice, actually let's back up. To be able to see more, we need to go to our camera and then under our angle of view, if we increase it, we'll be able to see more of our image. But if we go too far, it's gonna start skewing that image. And if you notice, our angle of view is kind of opposite. So if we were in say Blender or another 3D program and we changed our angle of view, if we went down to say like a 24 or 14 millimeter, we'd get a wider angle. This is backwards because we're looking inside a sphere that's reflecting. So our angle of view is actually going to be backwards as well. So technically, if we had a 60 millimeter lens, it would be a tighter shot. But in this instance, the opposite is true. So the smaller we go, the tighter the shot. The larger we go, the more zoomed out we are, the wider the shot. And you notice our HDRI is backwards. So all we have to do is grab a transform node, stick it on there, and we can just say flip horizontally. So now it's flipped. If we go to our shape, we could transform that around and now our HDRI is correct. But if you notice, if we change this HDRI, our reflection isn't changing. So we just have to make sure we go into our dome light and uh, transform on the Y or rotate on the Y so our reflections match up with our background. So that's one option to put your actual HDRI image into your uh, scene. Your other option is, we'll go ahead and disconnect this, is to merge our 3D scene with a USD scene. So we could bring in a U dome light and a U merge and a U render and our U render. If you remember right, we just need to make sure we're using the scene and enable in that sky dome. So now if we go to our dome light, we can uh, browse for our little HDRI there and let's bring in our living room. And if we actually look at our U render, now you can see our living room in there. And if we grab a merge, we can uh, input our U render into the background, our rendered little sphere into the foreground. If we look at it, we've got them both in there. And if we need to change the dome light on here, we can just go to this dome light. And we can go to the transform and uh, we can rotate it how we want. So those are your two options of bringing in HDRIs. And that is the new dome light node for your 3D ecosystem. I will see you in the next node breakdown.